Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. I am Chris the girl, this is my fiance Tampa J. Hello. And today we are going shopping. Now we are going shopping at one of my most favorite stores of all time. I have featured it I think the most out of any uh, store when we were doing our Halloween shopping on the Spooky Shopping channel. Um, and it's Michael's. <laughs> I love Michael's. It's, love it's seriously one of my most favorite stores. Um, great place to obviously get craft items, but also a great place to get some really cute home decor stuff. And let me tell you, I think they've got some pretty darn cute home decor stuff in there right now, specifically for their spring collection. So it's kind of peeking around online the other day. Um, I was, I, I don't know, just, the thought just kind of occurred to me. Why don't I look at Michael's? What are they, what are they even doing when it's not Halloween? Right. <laughs> um, and it turns Good out question. they still do a lot of home decor. <laughs> um, but we're, yeah, right now they have a couple of different collections out for the springtime specifically. And they're actually really, really adorable. I saw several items that uh, caught my eye. And I think that they're going to be here at this particular Michael's. So I'm really excited about this. We're just going to go in and do the usual show you some of the stuff that they got here and the stuff that catches my eye and uh maybe do a little bit of shopping who knows can i point something out what the lighting is so perfect right now it is golden yeah. hour look it's, at you you're just glowing it's, over there it's the golden hour right now we got here a little bit later in the day um but yeah anyway without further ado shopping. thank you all so much for clicking on this video i hope that you enjoy it and let's go. Alrighty, Michaels. Here we go. Let's see what you let's see what you got. And what they've got in the middle of their store here. Easter, Easter, and more Easter. Easter. Which I guess makes some sense here. Got a lot of Easter baskets and these. These are really scary looking. Not gonna lie, they kind of freaked me out a little bit when I saw them out of the corner of my eye. They are big, big bunnies really big bunnies and they're hundred fifty dollars for the bunnies they're about half my size maybe a little bit more than that too they are very very large Four feet. this is also a bit scary a lot of peep stuff i'm not a big fan of the peeps they're uh not really my jam but i know a lot of people out there do enjoy them this is kind of cute though a little keychain made more than it's adorable the actual peeps yeah that little stuffed animal oh they're scented oh they are Oh, it smells like chocolate. Ooh, oh. it does. You have to take our words for it. Oh. Little light up peep necklace. Color me. It's pretty cute too. And if you want to color your own peep, they've got that option as well. Even though I'm not a fan of the peeps, the stuffed animals are pretty darn cute. I'm always a sucker for the stuffies. And they smell. They smell pretty good actually. So many bunnies. Holy moly. They're kind of cute. I like the ones that are riding in the little carrot car there. I actually really like these too. Look at the little lettuce heads. I don't know what you would do with these, but they're really stinking cute. Little vegetables in these packs in here too. It's pretty cute. A lot of carrots too, of course. Tons and tons of different kinds of carrots, different sizes. There's really huge ones down in here as well. There's even a carrot basket, a basket made out of carrots. There's wreath making stuff in here too, if you wanna make an Easter wreath. Decapitated uh, bunny head in here. Yeah, there's something unsettling about this. Not quite sure what it is. The size of it all, the dead eyes, I don't know. The fact that it comes alive at night. That too, holy moly. By the way, when I said that they had a lot of cute spring stuff, I didn't necessarily mean Easter. Because I'm not the biggest fan of Easter. I don't know if y'all can tell or not, but Easter's not really my jam. The pastels, the bunnies, I don't know. It's just, it's not my thing. There is definitely some cute stuff in here though. Don't get me wrong, but uh, this wasn't quite what I had in mind for what we were gonna check out today. But I'll do a quick pan here for you because there are some cute stuff in here. I like the tulips. These are adorable. These are my favorite flowers, by the way, tulips. Love them. Yeah, there you go, a lot of Easter stuff. 
lot of bunnies. Valentine's Day is on its way out the door, believe it or not, even though it's only next week. 50% off of their Valentine's Day stuff. Got some ornaments down in here. If we were gonna do a Valentine's Day tree, spooky tree, which we are not doing, but we definitely could have used those. That would have been helpful. Yeah, and some Mardi Gras stuff in here too. If you uh, decorate for Mardi Gras, get some stuff in decorate here. Yourself. Pretty cute. And look at this. A lot of Christmas in here. A lot of holiday stuff on clearance, 80% off. Dang, that's pretty good. Also, St. Patrick's Day. Quite a few St. Patrick's Day items in here. Lots of tinsel and stuff to make wreaths with. Beads, a lot of beads. Some cute stuff over here. Little cushions, uh, shamrock wreaths, signs, little uh, um, leprechaun nutcrackers, and there's some things of glitter in here. Also coins. You could do some pretty fun stuff for St. Patrick's Day. And if you're doing like a uh, St. Patrick's Day party, they've got quite a few things in here. Really neat little shamrock neon sign in here, but they've got plates and silverware, napkins, cups, and of course novelty hats Ooh, of the yin yang. If you want to be a St. Patty's Day unicorn, you can do that. All right, finally found some of their spring items. So one of the lines that they have is called Color Pop Decor, and each of the aisles in here they're like featuring different colors as you can see pink red yellow green blue purple that's what that color is black Ooh, this is one of the things i was looking at online so look at this it's a little trash can <laughs> that's cool isn't that cute oh it's adorable so you could put like i think this opens so this opens here and so you could use it for like um, holding your pens and pencils or what have you or just use it like as a little trash can on your desk mm. I don't know I saw this and was like I need to have this this is adorable tiny little trash can so spoiler alert might be coming home with us but yeah there's some interesting things in here interesting home decor items lots of stuff with um with letters that goes all throughout the, the the different colors in here too. These look like little trinket dis, uh, dishes. There's uh, like these chess pieces in here that would just be like little decor items. This winky face guy is pretty cute. It, it does look like the heart of the ocean. We can retire now. Yep, it's happened. Finally. We found the heart of the ocean. Finally. Got your rose. Here's the other one that's really cute. So they've got a recycling bin too. I don't know which one I want to get, the recycling bin or the trash can. I might get the recycling bin. I don't know. But I just think these are super cute. They are $13, mm. by the way, and it is currently 40% off. Yeah, I really like the. <laughs> it's so cute. It's very 90s. Yeah. Smiley face mug. Super adorable. This one is $13. Also, I think this is a little corgi, right? Yeah. It's so cute. It's actually a planter. It's got a, um, a drainage hole on it, which is pretty dang adorable. Yeah, and the clock is pretty darn cool, too. It's an actual clock. These are also adorable, the little daisies. Looks like these are vases, very appropriate. And this watermelon dish in here is pretty cute, too. I think that this could be another really nice planter. Super adorable. And I saw these online too. It's actually a lot heavier than I thought it would be. This is made out of like a like a crushed velvet sort of material, but I think they also had one that was shiny. So it actually looked kind of more like a little balloon animal. I don't see it here. Um, but I thought that this was really cute too. This looks like a little balloon animal. It's adorable. Also, these Rubik's cubes are really cute too. It looks like they kind of have a little drainage hole down at the bottom too which is pretty awesome. There's another clock, but that one is pink. And this was another one that caught my eye. It's also a planter, got a drainage hole. It's a little pink triceratops. 
Super, super adorable. I'm a big fan. I really like a lot of these. Here's one of their other collections in here. Looks like a bunch of um, like maps and globes. Stuff to do with travel. Really great um, like office stuff in here. Lots of really fun boxes and things to, you know, keep organized, keep Sorry. organized with. And then yeah, globes, cool artwork. I like it. And I like the little gold things that you can stick on your desk too. Yeah, the thumbs up, the gold thumbs up. The plane is pretty neat. There's some neat candles in here too. Now that we are like totally collecting odd shaped candles now that we will never burn. I really like the tulip shaped one. It's really pretty. This is an interesting shape as well. They have normal candles down in here and yeah just in general a lot of stuff uh, to organize your office with, make it look cool. It's total like hashtag boss babe kind of kind of vibes that I'm getting with this not gonna lie. And then this next collection is here is like Monet's garden or something like that. I'm pretty sure that is legitimately what it's called, but it's very like florally, very like kind of France sort of vibes. Um, I think there was less stuff in here that I liked, but nonetheless, I do like kind of the florally sort of stuff, the prints on here. And I do like tea as well, teapots and teacups. This was something that caught my eye uh online was these cute little teacups that are candles Ooh, and it does smell very good as well and this wall decor here is super cute too the little watering cans oh and then yeah this it does it does say right there indoor decor use only but this is totally a birdhouse so i don't know i don't know how you would handle that but maybe it's just literally just decor but it is super cute a little teapot birdhouse here. These are kind of cute too, these Mac Macron pillows. And I'm super hungry now, but there's a green one and there is a blue one and I think there is a pink one too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I would say if like French stuff is, is your jam, you might want to come over here to Michael's and check out their collection. Like I said, it's not necessarily my thing, but there's definitely some stuff in here that I think is really cute. I do like the, Ma the Macron pillow. This is pretty adorable. Ooh, they've got another really fancy candle here. I saw this online too, and I thought that was really neat. This whole thing is a, is a freaking candle. $20. Oh yeah, and the little bathtubs. I do like the little bathtubs. Okay, these are really cute. They always get me with the so bathroom cute. stuff. Let's see what it smells like. Hmm, does not smell like a bathroom, which is important. It's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> and these bigger tubs in here are not candles. Those are just like metal containers, yeah. And they also have these little tubs that are filled with fake flowers, if that's your jam. Oh yeah, and a really big tub. Yeah, Bella could have a nice clawfoot tub to take bath. <laughs> take paths in but yeah so that's what this uh this collection in here is all of these right now are 40 percent off so not too shabby going along with spring too they do have a lot of plant stuff in here both fake plants and things that you know you can make wreaths with and whatnot but also plant stuff that you could use if you have actual plants too like all of these macrame holders which are pretty awesome Ooh, I like the black and white one. Dang, that's really cool. They've got a really like retro beaded one in here. And there's these down at the bottom too that comes with a nice round glass thingamabob. And look at this little uh, macrame holder. This is like a bud vase or a propagation tube, which is pretty dang adorable look how cute that is they also have these things up here which i guess you could like put fake flowers and stuff in and make like a little wreath or something there's a square one there's this one in here too it's pretty cool i don't know what i would do with it but i like 
how it looks. They have a bunch of stuff down below it here too that you could decorate them with. Of course, lots and lots of gnomes, but I like the oranges. It's very, very Florida. Got some other fruits in here too. Here's some more plant stuff. More little baskets that you can hang plants in. They can, they can either, again, be real ones or, you know, just a nice little arrangement that you put together yourself. Also, like, this set of, ooh, yeah, this set of propagation tubes. Now that's pretty cool. This big piece here is really fancy. It's a, it's a straight-up chandelier that you can make into something like that, which is pretty cool. What a craft project that would be. Also like this one. There's a lot of possibilities with that as well. You could put some air plants in there. I think this collection here is called like their Sunny Day collection or something like that, but it's lots of really pretty yellows, basically, and neutral tones, which I really, really like. Like, look at this beautiful mug. Not that side, this side. Very pretty. This is a... Uh, Definitely right up my alley too. This one is $13. Also really cute salt and pepper shakers and a spoon rest. I sure do like that. Also like this here, this quick reference measuring guide that you could hang up. That would be quite useful. Artwork over here, very cool, very pretty. I like the welcome door sign, the really nice butterfly stained glass hanger things in here. Those are really, really pretty. More cute salt and pepper holders and measuring cups. These little vases in here are really cute too. And more bathtubs, but these are yellow and off-white and not candles, but you could still like put soap in there or what have you. Yeah, a lot of, you could definitely make a really cute pretty kitchen with all of these items. Very meant for the kitchen sort of thing. And I am all about it. If we didn't have a spooky kitchen, this would probably be more what, <laughs> what my kitchen would be like. I just need two kitchens so I can get both of my personalities out in my, in my kitchen. These little vases in here are really nice too, made of like a, like a terracotta kind of material. Dang, I really like these a lot. They are $7, not too bad. Some more letters down in here, bird cages. Really cute stuff. Ooh, wildflowers, this huge wildflower sign is really cool too. We are looking for artwork for the apartment. That is still a thing. I'm keeping my eyes out, I swear. This is super adorable. Oh, it's a little birdhouse. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, yeah, it's nice. Yeah, that's adorable. Sarcasm. Every day is a fresh start with sarcasm. That's there you go. Door. I like it. That's my motto. This is actually pretty, pretty darn adorable. I don't usually go for, like, positive signs like this. It's not really my thing, but for some reason... I don't know, for some reason I really like this one. These metal bugs are super cool too. I like that a lot. And this as well. You could, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a votive. So you put a candle in there and that would look really pretty. This is uh, $20. Yet, it, okay, so spring here at Michael's, it is the year of the bathtubs. I don't know if they usually do a lot of bathtubs, but holy moly. This is amazing seen a lot more bathtubs than maybe one person needs to in a day. Anyway, cute little butterfly metal chairs in the back there. Lots of baskets, little trinket holders. They're super cute. If you like butterflies, you might want to come over here, Michaels, because they, huh, they got you covered. In general, I really like this collection a lot. I think I think this might be my favorite out of all the ones that we've seen. This is definitely more my jam. I would buy quite a lot, quite a lot. There's a lot of things that I see here that I really like. And I do believe this is the last spring collection that they have. 
warm heritage, which I think I'm also going to very much like. It's it's definitely a lot more neutral, um, which is not a bad thing at all. Earth tones and all that good stuff. Here's a bird that you can hang up. That's cool. Boots are kind of neat too. They remind me of the, the witch boots that we saw last year during spooky season. I think that was at Joanne's, if I'm not mistaken. These are obviously just like muddy gardening boots. And yeah, oh, this is cute little bird with his uh, little nest in here, a little trinket bowl. It's pretty cute. Yeah, I like the colors in general. This would be a nice planter. All the greens and the browns. It's very nice. I'm not mad at it. It's a nice little, little vase here. More birds, more little birds that you can hang up. If you've, uh, if you watched Vloguary, then you know we are into the birds now. We are a birding channel now. We, I have a bird feeder up right outside of my window office, my office window. And um, it's been such a joy for me to watch the birds every day. It's been a lot of fun, so. And then also like looking up the birds and seeing what birds are. Wow, they got a lot of bird stuff here. Um, looking up the birds in my little birding book and seeing which ones I, I see every day and learning more about them. It's just been a lot of fun for me, so. Yeah, we like the birds now. Very pretty artwork in general too. Like I really like this piece here. Yeah, me too. It's actually quite nice, quite lovely. The mirrors are really neat as well. Hello. These birds are cool too. I like these. Just how many birds do we need to, to buy? Oh, I don't know. Thousands? The limit does not exist. I don't know. I'm gonna try to restrain myself though. These are also very pretty. There's a couple different kinds in here. I like that. Big fan. Also a big fan of whatever this is. I think it's just a tabletop decor, but I really like it a lot. Very, very pretty. Oh, that's where we were. We were at Ikea. I was like, <laughs> where were we recently? Where we saw a big giant poster of eggs. Because, you know, that doesn't happen every day, but then here we are, it's the second store in a matter of a month, and we're seeing eggs again. So, I guess it's the year of the eggs. I don't know, if you're an egg enthusiast, this is your year. Congratulations, we've made it. We're here. Um, so, yeah, it's a thing, it's here. This is a really cool pillow, too, with the, the plant stuff on there. Nice little photo frame. I like this trinket box here. It's just simple, but I I like that. I like the earth colors. I guess because I'm a plant person, I I like that. Yeah. So yeah, this is a this is a really cool collection too. I like that they have a little bit of something for basically everybody. Like if you don't want like all of that color weird stuff in the color pop section, maybe this is more your thing or maybe you like the yellows or maybe you like France I don't know <laughs> um whatever it is I kind of feel like they have a little bit of something for whatever your taste may be this isn't part of their home decor section but it is spring related look at all the cute stuff you can oh that you can make for a fairy garden I like that this is cool do we need to make a fairy garden Maybe we need to make a fairy garden. This is awesome. How much is this? $50. Okay, well, you know what? We'll think about it. It is 40% off for, for these two, so I don't know. But yeah, there's some really cute stuff. Ooh, these little mushrooms are adorable. They got a lot of cute stuff in here. We could make a spooky fairy garden. We can use uh, some of the stuff, well, the thing that we got from Lemex and make it like a spooky fairy thing. I don't know. I'm trying to justify buying all this crap. Um, these are so cute. They're so dang adorable. Can you use crystals? Oh, these little strawberries. Oh, so cute. Oh, I 
love them. They've got a lot of tiny little decor. Oh my gosh. Look at the little potted plants. Stop it right now, Michaels. I don't need these, but I need them. They're so cute. You could do all kinds of adorable things with a little... Do we need to make a fairy garden? Hey, <laughs> like, like, does this need to happen? Because seriously, like, I'm obsessed now. Like, they're so stinking cute. Oh, I love them. So they have all of these little bases. And, oh, they're, they're, they're planters. You know, these one, well, these ones are, are planters. These ones down in here. But this is like a big base that we're thinking, yeah, maybe you could put moss in it and kind of build it from there if you want. Oh, they should not be this adorable. And I should not be buying them. But that's that might happen. These are so cute. Put them in the garden. They're so adorable. I love me some fake plants. They're mm, little cactus. Yeah, it's adorable. Oh, so <laughs> cute. Oh, look at all of these planters over in here. Little hanging, little hanging guys. That's pretty cool. They don't have a drainage hole, but you could still keep it in like its little nursery. But look at this. It's a disco ball. Okay, how much is this? Twenty dollars. All right. Well, this is very heavy. I don't know how I'm gonna. Ha how would I hang this up, dude? Look at this. Oh. Michaels, where have you been all my life? Look at this planner. That's cool. It's a ska planner. You doing? Awesome. Oh, a lot of fake plants in here too. So if you, if the, if the real thing is is not your jam you can still get fake ones and do plenty of cool stuff with them too. I like these little terra terraniums. Those are super adorable. Some more neat planters over on this side as well. And lots of fake plants that are already in pots too. Like if, if that's something that you would like. And a little uh, bonsai tree as well, which is just seriously the freaking cutest. And I just want to take a brief stroll here down the clearance aisle as well. Look at all of the Christmas stuff they still have. There's a lot in here. Dang. You could uh, get some pretty dang good deals on some Christmas items. And I see some stuff in here that's pretty cute. Like, look at this reindeer garland. That's adorable. They've got some tree toppers. Ribbons, a lot of ribbon, a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Those look like tree skirts. Ooh, the macrame trees. That's pretty cool. So these normally would be $20, but now you could get them for $4. That ain't bad. Yeah, a lot of good stuff in here. I mean, this is, again, just you know, one Michaels, but nonetheless, I'm sure yours out there probably has some stuff too. So pretty cool. Got a lot of stuff, 80% off. Oh yeah, I just popped back up to the front here and I almost forgot to show you these really, really cute doormats. It's a flower one. I like this one, Welcome Franz. It's actually pretty funny, I, I, I do like that. This daisy one down here and just some more colorful ones. So yeah, these are pretty cute. Good spring doormats. Okay, back inside of the car here, I have my cameraman Jay working the camera as cameramen I think do. <laughs> I think I know how to use this. <laughs> anyway, let me show you all what I got. So, Got this planter here. Um, I think I showed this for like a half a second in the video. I'm so freaking excited about this thing. It is ska patterned. It's a check and pattern, checkered patterned uh, planter. It's freaking awesome. awesome. I'm so excited about this. Seriously, I'm a huge ska fan. Um, so 
I don't know, this is just awesome. Like checkered, checkered patterns are my thing. So this is really cool. We're gonna have to buy a super cool, like punk ska plant like to, to put inside of this baby. Also, I went with the recycling trash can. I think that this thing is just so super adorable. Uh, definitely gonna sit it somewhere on my desk, even though I really have like no room on my desk, but that's fine. Um, I don't know, it's just really cute. It's a tiny little trash can. We do love trash cans on the channel. It is a thing actually, believe it or not. So um, I'm really excited about this. This is honestly like the whole reason why we are here at this particular Michaels because I looked online and actually like a bunch of Michaels were sold out of these guys or they weren't in stock yet or whatever it was, but this was one of the only Michaels that had them. This was like, yeah, we're we're coming here because this is kind of what I need. So couldn't leave without <laughs> this. Also did grab the black and white macrame plant holder here. I think that this looks really, really cool. I love the wooden beads on it. I love that again, it's black and white. Like, I just think this is so cool. And um, I'm hoping to have more indoor plants around the house they have a lot of great window space and great lighting inside of the house in general um and the entire patio is covered in plants so i i kind of want to bring some inside of the actual home and these macrame holders are going to bring us one step closer to that so spoiler alert we got to do a lot of plant shopping <laughs> on the channel here this year, okay? Like the, I am itching to go plant shopping really, really, really soon. We're definitely gonna be doing that uh, very soon here because I have several macrame holders that need plants. We bought a plant shelf at Ikea the other day that needs to be filled. So we're doing it soon. Get as excited as one possibly can. And then, you know, I could not leave without getting the disco ball. <laughs> planters so it's definitely a music genre planter evening i guess apparently um i absolutely love disco it's one of my more favorite genres of music like of all time seriously so underrated fun chris the girl fact there for you but i seriously love disco so i've seen these disco ball planters um not in the real otherwise i absolutely would have had one by now but i've seen them like online and in pictures and it's always something that i've wanted so so cool that Michaels actually had them and uh, it wasn't very expensive I, I went with the smaller one they had two sizes there uh, so this was $17 plus the 40% off so not bad at all and let me the, the only thing that concerns me is that I have no idea where I'm going to hang this adorable guy um, it's quite heavy very 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 heavy so wherever he goes He's gonna need to be um, very well supported. And there isn't even a plant in here yet. So that's the only thing that concerns me. We'll but we'll figure that out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. But the point is, is that we have a disco ball plant holder. And I didn't think that this was how this night was going to end up. Uh, but this far exceeded my expectations and more. So well done, Michaels. All right, and with that, that is going to do it for today's video. It is dark outside. We're gonna get some food and then head on home. This was a lot of fun. Michael's was quite surprising. I don't know why I'm surprised actually, because Michael's honestly hits it out of the park every time. In my opinion, I'm not sponsored by Michaels, I swear to goodness. I, I legitimately did not come in here thinking that I was going to leave with <laughs> plant sure. stuff with with planter things i i thought i was gonna come out with like a couple of like the kitschy home decor little pieces there like the little like the trash can but um here we are and now i'm thinking like we gotta build a fairy garden we gotta do it fast <laughs> like that that's now like priority number Sounds one cool. for me so um i don't know if we do that let me know in the comments below do you want to see a video where we go and we get fairy garden materials and then we put it together and then we just have a slightly more magical home like is this, is this something we need to do let me know in the comments below and honestly we're probably just going to do it anyway even if no one wants to see it because i want to do it i'm inspired now looks fun to me it looks really fun, fun little 
they had a lot of cute fairy stuff model. and I, I bet a bunch of other places have cute little fairy garden things too like now i'm thinking this is the whole thing that i've been missing out on my entire life wow mind blown anyway <laughs> that tangent aside um thank you all so much for watching really 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 do appreciate it i sure hope that you all enjoyed it and had a good time along with me um again if you've been if you watched vloguary specifically the last one um i mentioned how i really love these videos like they're a lot of fun and it's just so easy and fun for me to go out and do these sort of things because this is what i do anyway so i'm basically just turning on the camera and that's it um so yeah i, I really hope that you all are enjoying them because i'm enjoying them a lot too and i have a lot of other ideas of, of things that we can do as well while we bide our time for halloween to start <laughs> which honestly is not going to be that much longer now believe it or not so uh anyway tampa j was here along with me as well he didn't film but he does have a Just channel so make sure you check it out link is always in the description below thanks for the plug babe and we will see you all a little bit later thanks all again for watching Really, really appreciate it. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, guys. See you soon.